2023 tourniquet cards. Stick around. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Tree River Kydex. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of a tutorial on my tourniquet cards. If you're not familiar with my tourniquet cards, it's very simple. It's a very simple, simple design. Most people use tourniquet pouches. I think anybody that's in law enforcement or maybe an avid shooter or maybe federal agency should probably have some way to carry a tourniquet. So I developed these tourniquet cards. Now these tourniquet cards aren't anything special. It's just basically a very thick piece of Kydex that is five inch by three inch. Uh, and it's this one happens to be I don't know if you could see that in the picture, but it is uh, one uh, dot one Two five which is about an eighth of an inch, right? So it's a very thick kydex the what the kydex that I used to make these with was just a regular plain um, Dot eight zero which was fine But the problem with the dot eight zero is that if you put a lot of pressure on it It will bend and with these, it's very difficult to bend, all right? This is a very, very thick piece of kydex. It has four set screws, one, two, three, four, and it is set up with a tech lock, and I'll get into the tech lock in a second. Most of the people will wanna run this in a vertical position because it's very easy to reach down, undo one of the straps, and then pull this thing right out. If you wanted to run it horizontally, all you need to do is take out the set screws, turn the tech lock sideways, and then you could run it this way. You could run it in a horizontal mode, all right? That's completely up to you. The screws are uh, loctite so hopefully they won't, won't fall out. But if, you, if anything happens to this, in other words, uh, you lose a screw or wanted a shock cord break, don't worry about it, just drop me an email, I'll send you some parts and we'll fix it over the phone. It's not really that big of a deal. I want you guys to have some life-saving equipment on your belt at all times. That's why I developed this kind of easy to go, uh, easy to use setup. Now, some people will say that, hey, listen, there's absolutely, there's no UV protection. And I get that, uh, especially guys that have served in the desert. I serve in an urban environment, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, if you are looking for some type of overcover, I do have pouches. Check the website, go to 3riverkydex.com. I am developing pouches as well as cards. So the cards are more of a lightweight option. The pouches are gonna be enclosed where you just slip this in and makes things uh, a little bit more covered, a little bit more protected. And if you're someone that do, does a lot of running and gunning and it's dirty and it's filthy, maybe this is not, maybe this is too light for you. Maybe you want something more of a pouch. I got you on both ends. I can make them in any color as well. Now, this is the default configuration. This is a tech lock. This is the large tech lock. It'll come in this uh, default config. And right here is a little locking gate. As you can see that, you're gonna have to pull that locking gate down, squeeze or pinch these two together, and now we'll release the tech lock. I know some people are like, why are you telling me this? This is so silly. Some people don't know how this works. That's why I'm telling you this. It's an instructional video. All right, so inside here, you can see it has three rows of three. That's what I was saying. If it has three rows of three, you can take these screws out, turn it sideways, turn it diagonal. As long as the holes line up, you can screw them back in and you'll be good to go. Right here, you're gonna see a couple of bars. These bars come out, all right? These are adjustable bars. So as it's set up right now, it is about, I would say about uh, 1.5 or an inch and a half or an inch and seven five or three quarters for set up for a belt. Most duty belts or gun belts are gonna be wider than that. So if you need to go to two inches, it's very simple. You just stick a fingernail in there and pull out one of your bars. And now when you close it, you have two inches. If you have a duty belt, most duty belts are a little bit larger, they're three inches, you take that other bar out and now you use the whole section. I tried this on numerous duty belts from leather to Cordura uh, to composites and they all work, all right? This tech lock is not something that I make, this is something I have to buy. Blade Tech makes it uh, and I buy them, you know, buy the three dozens, okay? So I know this is a very good uh, belt device. Enough on the tech lock. Shock cords are going to run horizontal. You can see that they are semi adjustable. What I mean by that is if you look on the back side, you can see how I just kind of weaved it in and then it goes across the side. And then on this side, I weaved it in and it goes across. If you're having a little bit of trouble trying to get it in the first 
uh, loop right here, what you can do is pull on this one and then loosen it up in the back and that will give you a loop and it will give you a little bit more. So it's sort of like kind of pinching and pulling and just to adjust it around your tourniquet. Uh, the only tourniquets I tried this with are Cat and Soft T Wide. This was designed specifically for Soft T Wide, so I know it works. With Cat, you just need, it'll still work, you just need a little bit more of adjustment. If you have some other type of uh, tourniquet, such as the ratcheting system, I have not tried it. Uh, please put the comments down below if you have and let me know if this thing works. Uh, I'd be more than interested to know if there's any other tourniquets out there that I have not tried it. Now the rat's tourniquet, it doesn't make sense for this because the rat's tourniquet is just an elastic band. You could weave it in and out of here if you like, but I'm not guaranteeing that. Basically this is a cat or soft tee wide because most law enforcement and military use those type of tourniquets. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back down so you can see what I have set up. I'm going to show you how to preload these and I'm going to show you how to extract them in case of an emergency. All right guys, so this is kind of how I have them set up. All right, so as you can see, I have a bunch here made. All right, it took, it took a very long weekend to try to make all of these. Uh, so this is a very, very simple design. Again, um, you know, it takes a little bit to make these. I have a jig where I get all the holes lined up correctly and shock cord and it's kind of like a little project of mine, but I wanted to make sure that everybody uh, can get life-saving equipment when they need it. So I'm just going to put this up here for now and show you kind of how I have my tourniquet set up. Now this is the cat tourniquet and this is a soft T wide. Just something to note on the rear of the setup, especially with tech locks, you'll notice there's more space up here than there is on the bottom. That was done intentionally. I had to move the tech lock down. And the reason is, is that most people, most people, not everybody, will carry this on their belt in a front position, meaning this will be the front of the belt, so it'll be accessible to either the right hand or the left hand to grab it and to pull it out. So some type of appendix carry, that sort of thing kind of makes sense. And I wanted to make it shorter on the bottom so that this piece of the kydex is not digging into your legs or your hips at all times. I wanted to make it a little bit easier. So I moved it up. So if you have the tech lock in this configuration, the larger part will dig into your legs or knee or your your legs or your hip while you are sitting down all right so that's just something to think about this would normally be the top this would normally be the bottom and it doesn't matter which tourniquet you use it's pretty obvious but again if it's not obvious uh, the way you wear a tech lock is the clasp is on the bottom you put your you put this on your belt you clip it in and then you lock it in okay the cat first Let's talk about the cat first. All right, so the cat's set up a little bit differently than the other one, all right? This is the windlass, this is the windlass clip. It has these two little forks that come around and it holds the windlass in there when you're done using it. This is not gonna be a medical class, I'm just showing you how to load this up. Typically, this is the way I would set it up, all right? And then first I'm gonna, first we're gonna deploy it and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. So. There's a lot of tension on here. I have tension up here, tension here, and then two in the middle to kind of hold things together. As you can see, there's very little bend. That 1-8 thick kydex is pretty solid, pretty stout. So the way I want, what I want to do, you can even do this with one hand. I'm just holding this to pretend that this is on my belt right now. I don't need this hand. It's just to show you what I'm talking about. So what I would want to do is the first thing I would want to do is relieve the tension. So I'll take the bottom strap off. I'll take this top strap off. Notice how it kind of falls forward, right? Now from here, if I set it up correctly and I don't have any type of sag, uh, snagging, I'm just gonna try to attempt to pull it straight out as forcefully as necessary because again, if in, a, in an environment where you only have one hand, just take that off, take that off, and then pull it out, all right? I'm just going to turn it a little bit just so I can show you how this is going to work. All right, so I'm set up in this configuration. I'm going to reach down and I'm going to pull it right out. Notice I had to turn it and twist it a little bit, but it just came right out. All right, so this is a very smooth, slick surface plate. I did that on purpose. As you can see, it shines inside the light. And if it gets snagged on something, you could just twist it or turn it and then just pull it out. And the only thing that it would get stuck on is maybe these two buckles down here. But if you set it up correctly, it's not really a problem. So let me show you how to set this up. Again, this is the bottom of the tourniquet card. I'm gonna turn it over. I have one, two, three straps. I'm not worried about the fourth one. So what I wanna do is I wanna set up 
between the, sec the, the second and third strap. Very simply, the way you want to set up this tourniquet to load it up. Notice how I have a very, very large loop here. I set this down about three to four inches. This should be uh, available. Don't allow you to see a lot of people setting up their tourniquets like this. That's incorrect because if you need to do this with one hand, now you're fighting and it's getting stuck or maybe it gets stuck behind there. It's a pain in the butt. So the correct way is just to load it like this. All right, some people also put this on the side. They put it to the side so it's a lot easier. You want to be able to see that red tab to each his own on how you want it. If you want to do it set up that way, that's fine as well. Now, so I have my tourniquet here. I have this kind of in the largest loop setting I can. All right, I'm going to turn to this buckle. This buckle is going to be my reference point. I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold the bottom to that buckle and then I'm going to squeeze this down as tight as I can. Then I'm going to flip this back up and you can see I sort of made like a sandwich or an S. And then I want to kind of make sure it's nice and flat. As you can tell, it's these are actually very easy to fold whereas the uh, soft tee wide is not all right it's not too bulky not too big there are people online that do this for a living and probably do a better job than i can all right so i just want to orient make sure that i have the bottom of the tourniquet card and then i'm going to feed it in through the second and the third first and now that i have it through the second and the third all right and again don't be gentle with this guys I, you know this is shock cord it's pretty stout and again, if you break it or one snaps off, don't worry about it. Just email me. I'll send you another one, okay? I, I know the exact sizes. I'll send you one in the mail. Don't worry about it. All right, so it should look something like that. Again, keep in mind that you're not trying to snag any of these. So what I don't want to do is have this band underneath this buckle because if I have this band underneath the buckle, it causes a snag point. I just want it as centered as possible. And I want... Not too much tension, but enough tension to keep it center. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that last band and I'm going to adjust as much as I need to and then just pull it over the top. Okay? Like that. All right? And that's a perfectly loaded tourniquet card, as you can see right there. All right? What you don't want to happen is you don't want this to fall underneath here. I mean, if it does, it's fine, but you have to remember that if this band falls underneath here, now it's another snag point. So if you're trying to pull it out, you would have to take this out and then pull it over the top. All right? So it causes a little bit more issue. I like to keep it right here. It keeps the windless clip and the windlass strap all in place and it keeps it very tidy. I don't worry about the tension. Again, if I needed to loosen it up, I could pull the tension from here, loosen it up, and then just work myself all the way around until I had the proper tension. All right, so that's a properly set up tourniquet card for the cat. Let's go to the soft tee wide. All right, guys, with the soft tee wide, it's a little bit different uh, just because it is a smaller tourniquet. And what's good about these is the new tourniquets from 2022 are very, very slick on the backside. And it makes it very, very easy for this to slip out. Again, like I said, the, so the slick side of the Kydex is where this needs to sit, not on the rough side. The rough is for the back. And again, probably the same scenario. What I like to do is without trying to create any snag points, if I needed to deploy this tourniquet, I want to make sure everything is good to go. And now I'm ready to deploy it. Pretend this is my belt and it's clipped on. What I'm going to do is take this off just so I could release some of that tension, take the top one off so I could release some of that tension. And then I'm just going to grab it and then pull out. All right, almost no issue there. Again, I don't care if these things break in an emergency, and if you break it by accident, by practicing, again, I'll send you a note. So, this again is set up for um, large uh, appendages. So, what I like to do, and again, this is just me, is that I take the tag and I roll it all the way up. Now, this is a very, very slick material. Uh, I think this is uh, Tacmetic Solutions. This is the new 2022 version of it. Um, depending on what version you have, these buckles will change, the materials will change, and they constantly keep updating it, but folding it's pretty, pretty, 
much the same, all right? So I'm gonna take that, and then I'm gonna fold this under like this, all right? I wanna fold it under. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this loop right here, and again, just right underneath the buckle. I just wanna put it right underneath the buckle. That's gonna give me a little bit more here. And then what I like to do is just drag it back, all right? See, so yeah, I drag it back this way, and then I want to tuck that extra piece in there, all right? It's not perfect. Um, it will move around because it is a very, very slick setup. As you can see right here, it's slick. And then what I'm gonna do is turn it around. So this is the bottom, this is the top of the tourniquet. What's good about this is that it kind of slides down. That's like the new tourniquet style. Uh, I do wanna make sure I have enough to support this end over here, but I don't wanna to have too much to where it's slipping out. Now the issue with this, and there's, there's a better way to fold this. I've seen a whole bunch of uh, YouTube videos where guys are just slightly, I mean, they make this thing like paper thin, but you kind of get the gist. What we're gonna do is put it inside the holder, now, inside the tourniquet card. And again, this is the bottom, this is the top, and I'm gonna use my bottom piece here, and I'm gonna feed it through the second and third strap. All right, I wanna push it in a little bit, make sure it's not snagging on anything, lock it into the rear, and then pull this one over the top, and then lock it in, okay? And again, you're gonna to have to play with the, the strapping and the settings. You're gonna to have to you're gonna play you're gonna to have to play a little bit with the strapping just to try to even it out. And it's this one's not exactly folded perfectly, but it'll do for now. You know, we don't have to be origami specialists. We just have to make sure that this thing don't fall out. All right, so something along the lines of that. And again, it's on your belt. It's not going anywhere. You need to do whatever you need to do. Uh, work with it and it's not bent in any way. You can see that it's very, very strong and stout. And again, like I said, the way you would deploy it is to take the pressure off the rear, take the pressure off the top, and then just pull it right out. All right, very, very simple. All right, guys, let's go back up top and we'll finish. All right, guys, so I hope you appreciate that presentation. So, like I said, the tourniquet cards are available at 3riverkydex.com. Go ahead, check it out. If you don't like the card version, you can get the pouch version. All right, I didn't do a tutorial, but I will do a tutorial on that as well. Uh, please like, subscribe, put all the comments down below if you own one of these. If you don't want, if you don't own one of them, get it now. All right. It's only 40 bucks on the website. Go ahead, get one, pick one up. Thank you very much guys. And as always stay safe.